Well, hey everybody, uh, it's time for me to offer up uh, my guesses for the Oscars for 2024. Um, and this is based on how the Oscars would be picked if it really were left up to someone like me and the people at my house or you know me hanging out with my friends or family. So supporting actor, um, haven't seen any of these movies. So I like Robert Downey. I'm with a couple of Roberts there. They're both great actors. I don't really know Sterling K. Brown too much. Gosling. Actually, I did see uh, the first 90 seconds of Barbie. So let's go with Ryan Gosling. Why not? Uh, next up, lead actor. Um, boy, I like that uh, Cillian, Killian, Cillian, Cillian, Killian guy from other movies. I haven't seen Oppenheimer yet. I'm, I may still. I don't know. Heard good things. Uh, Brad Cooper, I mean, with the prosthetic nose and all of that, it's probably a good actor in it. I don't know Coleman Domingo. I like his glasses. I have some like that. Paul Giamatti. Jeffrey Wright. Oh, he's from some of those James Bond movies. And uh, he plays the American guy. And the going to go with Jeffrey Wright. Although Paul Giamatti, uh, that's a tough one. Supporting actress has got to go to Jodie Foster. Sure, haven't seen any of those movies either. Although, was there? Did I see Emily Blunt? Ooh, I like her and John Krasinski, her husband. I really liked um, the one where you can't talk, or the monsters eat you. Quiet Place. So maybe it'll be Emily. Haven't seen any of the other movies um, at all. Uh, lead actress is going to fall into the same. I haven't seen any of these movies, so I, I don't know. How about the one in black and white? That tends to draw Oscar voters. Oh, black and white, it's already. So I'll, I'll give it to them. To, oh, it's Carrie Mulligan. I like her. Why not? Um, best director. I've heard of Christopher Nolan. I've heard of Martin Scorsese. Uh, I heard Killers of the Flower Moon was, was quite well done. And Oppenheimer. Uh, but I'm going to give it to Yorgos Lan. I could just give it to Yorgos because I can just see the presenters butchering his name and just saying, and the Oscar goes to your poor things, which of course would mean if he's the best director, it should be the, he's the best director of the best picture, which doesn't always work out. But because I haven't seen any of these except the first 90 seconds of Barbie, and then I just had to turn it off. I can't, I, I guess I wasn't in the mood. I don't know what's happening there. But, and it's a, it, when I, I guess it was probably when the opening credits come up and it says a Mattel production. Any movie that's based on toys, uh, generally speaking, I am just, I, I can't handle. A Mattel. <laughs> so I'm going to go with poor things because, um, because I gave the best director to the guy that I, whose name I can't pronounce. So that's pretty much how, uh, how my picks roll here um, from, from my home with the fake background. Go, go Academy.